Okay, in term one, you learn about word processing, how to open word document, how to save or close the document. Okay, now we're moving on to paragraphs basics. So I'm going to share my screen explaining paragraphs basics. Okay, just wait a minute. I'll share my screen just now. Okay, in paragraphs basics, we have lists, indents, and uh, tapes. Okay, there are two types of lists. This list includes a bulleted and numbered list. This list helps to simplify steps or items to readers. For example, teachers often use bulleted lists to highlight important pieces of their lesson, and manual often use or include numbered lists to assist readers with step-by-step -step instruction. As you know, uh, for example, um, a cooking recipe or a cooking book, they use numbered lists for step-by-step -step instructions, okay. Okay, and then we'll be moving on to indentation. Here we're dealing with in a within Hanging indents. A hanging indent is a special style of paragraph indentation when the first line is not indented, while all subsequent lines are indented from the left margin of the page. Okay. Uh, hanging indents are commonly used in a bibliography or reference section. Okay. And then we are moving on to tabs. Tabs are used to align and place text in a document, okay? And using tabs gives you more control over placement of text, okay? Now, we will be moving to opening a web document so that you can see how do you insert a bullet in your text and how do you insert numbered list in your text, okay? Just wait a minute, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen again. Uh, we'll open a red document. Just wait a minute. Okay. We just insert any text here, which is JG, Zuma, High School. Uh, okay, yeah. To insert uh, a bulleted list, you go to Home tab. Do you see? I'm in Home tab. Click Home tab, and then go to Paragraph section here, yeah. and then go up here to Bullets drop down list or drop down menu. You click the drop down menu. Here are the different styles of bulleted list. Okay. Let's choose this one. Do you see? This is how we insert bulleted list. Okay. And your next text, if you want to insert a numbered list, okay. Let's uh, say we are putting people's names, okay. Let's say Asanda, Nafundo, and um Benji. Okay. Do you want to insert a uh, numbered list to these names? Okay, let's start by Asanda. We want to insert a numbered list to this name of Asanda. You go to home tab again, come to paragraph section, and then here is a numbering drop-down menu. You click the drop down menu and you see the different styles of numberings. Okay, we will choose this one. Do you see? Asanda is now number one. Okay. Did you see that? Okay. And if you want to insert number two, you just press enter and then it's automatically continuing. Okay, and we'll put non fundo here. And then number three is Benji. Okay. 
are you getting an idea of what is happening here? Yeah. And now we will be moving on to, okay, we will be moving on to inserting indents and where do you find, I mean, tabs, and where do you find tabs in a web document? Okay, let's straight to it is on a high school again. Okay, if you want to, do you see, this is a tab, this ruler is a tab, this ruler, this is a tab. Do you see here? Tabs, okay. I will, if you, if you don't see this ruler in your web document, you go up to, okay, you go up to views. You see, click here a view tab, a view tab. You click a view tab and then you see this ruler box. Okay, if you want to show the ruler in your Word document, you, you click in this ruler. You see, I have unclicked this box so the ruler is not showing you anymore. If I click inside this box, the ruler will show again. Okay, and then there are two types of, um, I mean, there are four or five types of tabs. All right. The first tab is a, a left tab stop, left tab stop. Okay, this is a left tab stop. Okay, and this helps when you want to align a text or along a line to the left of a column. Okay, and then this is the center one. Can you see? All right. And then this is a right tab stop. A right tab stop align a text along, along a line to the right of a column. Okay. And then we have a, a decimal tab stop. Okay, this is a decimal tab stop. A decimal tab stop aligns the decimal point in a column of numbers. Okay, and then what's the other one? Um, a center, a center tap stop. A center tap stop, uh, a center text in the middle of the column. It aligns a text in the middle of a column. That's the use of tabs. Are we clear? Hopefully we are. And then I'll share my screen again. I'll stop sharing this web document. And then now I will share my screen for you all to see a useful document to access if you need further understanding to paragraphs, basics, etc. Okay. I'll go back to my PowerPoint slide so that you will see and take those websites, please access those websites. They're so helpful. Okay. Okay. Coming back to this slide where you can see these documents. All right. Do you see? Useful documents to access. Please, guys, access these documents in order for you all to have a better understanding of today's lesson. Please access these websites. These websites, please. Okay. And then another way, useful websites to just to expand just expanded opportunities or to further understand whatever we are learning today here yeah. if you want to understand bullets num and numbering list okay you access this you see this website here this website here access this website if you want a more and clear understanding of this, okay. And if 
He wants more understanding of how to create a hanging index using steps, step-by-step -step guide of creating hanging indents. You must access this website, please, please, please. It is so helpful. This website here and download these PDFs or open them wherever do you open your PDFs and follow these step-by-step -step guides. Okay, now I hope everyone so and took note of this website, okay? Yeah, I think that was the end of our lesson. Hopefully you've learned something about paragraph basics today and we'll catch up in the next lesson and move on to the next topic. Thank you so much.